Oh, wrong one. Shit. All right, alter ego. You really came. Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have to keep you all waiting. Correct. All right. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um. <laughs> I'm starting to get kinda nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands started to shake. Just a second. Move. <laughs> I just imagine like her pushing me out of the fucking laptop. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded. I moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particular important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Speak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant for more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. It, that's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. Oh. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Wait! Hold on! Then the reason we've been imprisoned here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way. It was the school itself? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense! Why would they do that? I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. Ooh, excuse me. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, yeah. Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. And whatever it was, it's forced, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequence to sequenster the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. What is that word exactly? I've never heard of that word before. So, um... But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer, and the answer we got was... Sorry. Sorry, I don't know if the information was ever on this computer. It's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? Then, is it really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh, wait. No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko- <coughs> Sorry. Kyoko's fingers move even faster than had so before. Did you figure out the Mastermind's identity? Sorry. No. That I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading to the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, <coughs> was the Hope's Peak Headmaster. So, the same person may very well be the Mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The Headmaster? The Headmaster? Is here in the school? Okay. Then, that's gotta be the Mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the Headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real Headmaster much more suspicious. Serious? But if we break down the door in his room, we're dead, right? So, what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the Headmaster. No matter what? So, um... 
damn, she is getting really emotional. It could be manipulative, who knows, but good god. Hi. I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Yoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. Does that have to do with something to do with her body last time? So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's everything I found out. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then it's really all over. Hey. Wait. Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um Um well. It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um. I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um. I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I see. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then, maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. And with that, the laptop entered sleep mode. Where the fuck's the charger exactly? I'm wondering. I see. <clears throat> so, Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But... I feel kinda sorry for him. But... You feel sorry, but... He's just a computer program, right? No. I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but... That's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer a good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when you talk to Alter Ego, I guess it just didn't see it that way. Yeah, you basically personify a computer, that's why you felt emotions for it. Isn't that right, little Samsung? Uh, I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on, it's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know... What's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? Huh? I started thinking about how you could differentiate a person in an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah! He's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think... Maybe I understand what you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? Right? Well, God damn it! Is Kyoko here still? Gonna brat me out again? Check this out. Friendship has no survival fa value. Instead, it gives value in survival. So. So anyway. What? what? Don't do anyway that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from. I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway. There's nothing more, more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease of which one, which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean this? Wait. The story has gotten off track. We should get go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? Why are they making us kill each other? <laughs> Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that you could... Ugh, excuse me. Describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> yeah, I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closure, uh, the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have been some kind of connection to the school. What? what? 
Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. <laughs> then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What the, what's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster... I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Mm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business here is done. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um. Oh yeah, good idea. There now I. <laughs> Thank God. Uh. Huh? <laughs> is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean. <laughs> oh n no, I I'm waiting. I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> I'm in, in, uh, guarding it at. Uh, Bianca is gonna be so mad at me. <sighs> Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um. Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bam, ba -bam. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. It's pounding with anger! <laughs> You're not mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster room thing, are you? <laughs> oh, that little matter does not e matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but it doesn't matter anyways. It's building. I feel it building. No. My head's about to boil over with rage. Please. Don't get mad angry. Here, let me help you center your chakra. <gasps> ext ext uh, ext How the fuck do you say that? This on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Uh, fang for a fang? B be careful, he just chanted the incarnation of devastation! Now, I was just saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Oh yeah, it's night time, right, shit. <clears throat> okay then. All right. Correct. So, it's night time. Hey. What else everyone wants? What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Mm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So, everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Alright, well, we'll continue on the next Let's Play of Danganronpa in the next episode. Stay tuned for that.